Choosing an appropriate dressing is an important part of wound management. But how do you know if you're making the right decision? This depends on the status of the wound, your patients, and the environment around the patient. Also, how often you need to change a dressing plays a role here. In this episode, you will learn more about 1. Key tips to consider when choosing a dressing 2. How do you select the right silicon foam dressing? 3. How do you select the right gelling fibre dressing? What is the size and shape of the wound? Make sure the dressing fits the wound. It will allow you to secure it to clean and dry skin around the wound without causing any damage to peri-wound skin. Consider wound depth. Choose a dressing that conforms to the wound bed and provides a close fit to reduce the risk of exudate pooling. What is the level of exudate? The dressing has to maintain a moist healing environment and absorb and retain excess exudate. Is there a local infection? In case of local infection, always consider a dressing with an active antimicrobial component, such as silver. The dressing needs to be comfortable to wear for your patient. It should not cause unnecessary pain upon removal. Remember, always follow the locally agreed dressing formularies and local protocols. Silicon dressings can be used on a wide range of low to highly exuding wounds. They can minimize trauma and pain when changing a dressing, protect the peri-wound skin, and promote comfort during wear time. When you choose a silicon foam dressing, you can follow this practical checklist to assess the performance of it. In the context of a wound dressing, conformability to the wound bed means that it should closely follow the contours of the wound bed and provide a close fit to minimize any gaps between the wound bed and the dressing. Does it have the ability to conform to the wound? How deep is the wound? What does the wound bed structure look like? Are there any pockets or cavities present in the wound? Is the dressing absorbing and retaining the exudate? Is it managing the excess exudate? Can it manage exudate under compression? Does the patient experience pain during dressing removal? Is it easy to remove? What is the condition of the peri-wound skin upon removal? Gelling fibre dressings are used for moderate to highly exuding wounds. When you choose a gelling fibre dressing, consider the following properties. Those are based on the key clinical challenges that have been identified by 200 clinicians across the world. It should be good at absorbing and retaining large amounts of exudate. It should not shrink when absorbing the exudate. That can lead to gap formation, leading to exudate pooling and increased risk of maceration. The dressing should be easy to remove in one piece from the wound. If it has poor tensile strength, it can lead to the dressing breaking up and leaving residues in the wound. To wrap up, 1. Your dressing choice should depend on the status of the wound, your patients, and the environment. 2. Carefully assess various functions and properties of silicon foam dressings before choosing a dressing. 3. Gelling fibre dressings should help you absorb and retain large amounts of exudate. They should not be difficult to be removed in one piece from the wound.